Every time Mikey Williams comes to the park, he leaves a statement. Dunking all over people, disgusting, throwing them on the ground, dribbling, cooking up people. It does not matter. Today, Mikey and Brawny will be taking over the park together. Drop a like. It's going to be a lit video. What is up guys, it's your boy Badge Plug, and today we are back with a fan favorite but with a mix. Mikey Williams you guys love every single time I post, Bronny James you guys love as well. Why not put them together and bring them to the park to dominate on NBA 2K22. So we're on a two way slashing playmaker as you guys know if you've seen the last one. I love this build man, Six foot three, 170 pounds with slashing takeover, it's amazing. 85 driving dunk so it gets contacts. 77 three-pointer, 83 ball handle, and pretty good defense with 94 speed and 94 acceleration. I have no idea what it is, but this is my favorite build to play on that's not on my account. Every time I get on this account, I go crazy. Hall of Fame finishing, 17 badges, 17 shooting, 14 playmaking, and six defensive badges. This build is insane. So the number one thing that we want to see over the next few years is will Mikey Williams and Bronny James live up to the hype. Do they have the potential to be on one of these posters that you see in these rooms? Are they going to be legends on NBA 2K22? Let's find out. Let's get into some gameplay. All right, so today we've got a perimeter lockdown and a versatile paint beast as our first game. Bronny is an offensive threat, and of course, Mikey's on the two-way slashing playmaker. So I put Mikey in some Palm Angels because he's always dressing real fancy. Look at this. Right away, he's not guarding me. I'm pulling up. Now, you might have noticed this is season two gameplay, but this is after the left-right little patch. So you'll see a little bit where it slows me down when I take the wrong angle. But besides that, we were going Crazy. This is my last season two gameplay that I got for you guys. And look at this build. No way you're guarding Mikey Williams. It's just not possible. He is too good. Five to zero. Going down. He blocks me right here. Nope. Get my own board. He jumps. Run out. Pull up. Green, man. Oh, my. Just when you thought you had stopped Mikey, he goes and splashes a three. Dunking on opponents, man. It's nasty. Falling to the ground. That's just what he does. He is too good good so i want you guys to let me know in the comment section this is going to be a real interesting take as you see Bronny going down and slamming that thing he's been doing that a lot lately but i want you guys to let me know who do you think is going to get drafted first what i mean is is mikey gonna go three and Bronny's gonna go seven who do you think is gonna be the first when you see me stepping back greening he's too good unguardable man i really can't wait to see these dudes full potential man years to come from now you see me going down and just bow slamming on him throwing him to the ground now we're in slashing take that was without slashing takeover he is nasty anyway 17 to 4 here we go in the takeover our speed is up driving dunk everything it's time to go crazy when we got takeover the game is over Oh, what? Coming back, going to, oh, stepping back, going back down. Oh my gosh. Mikey is electric in the park. Too good. Last play of the game, cooking up, doing everything. Every single move you can pretty much do in the game. Hopping back. Oh, you thought going down, dunking on two people in the paint to end the game. Next one is a two way slashing play and a center. So these dudes, they look pretty good. And right away, you could see how he's dribbling. I was like, okay, he is pretty good. Goes down, slams out, try to get the blitz steal, did not get it. And of course, you know, we don't have a center, so he's gonna abuse that, which, you know, don't blame at all. But as you see, man, from this lineup, we're not even using two centers. Like we're really coming out here winning with two guards going crazy. Now he goes down and gets a dunk at the very last seconds of the shot clock. I try to steal it right there, six to zero. They've got a good start. You can tell that these guys are pretty good for sure. He's trying to get something though, and he's getting clamped up. Silver clamps is super good. Throws us Stevie and Brawny gets the steal. Now it's time for us to take over. Six to zero. What's he doing? Is he, is he gonna guard Brawny? Wide open in the corner, dot, you already know. Bronny is a sharp shooter, man. He can really shoot out there. And I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this disrespect of Mikey is, but that boy can shoot. You better not leave him wide open. I have no idea why. The f and, oh, man, we lose the ball before I even got a chance to move. I want you guys to let me know 
if you think that should be in the game, man. Before we even got a chance to move. But you see Brawny getting that block, man. It's so nice to see how these players are developing. They're getting better each and every year. The younger generation as well is just really succeeding out there in the basketball world. And look at this. Off the steal, pull up, green. Hey, look. Ball don't lie. That's the way they got the ball back. That's the way we got the ball back. We should have been had the ball. You know what I'm saying? I definitely was ready to get back in the ISO, as you guys can see. Stepping back, misdirection, going down slithery past the center and dunking that thing. He's not holding Mikey. That boy is too big, too slow. He's a tortoise. He's a turtle. He's too slow out here. Do not put that man on me. He will get baked. He will get cooked up, man. And look at this. They're not listening. Step back, pull up. Oh, a full bar animation. But I get my own rebound. Mikey is just like that. Anyway, though, back right into it. I knew he was going to play up behind the back. Go down. Slam that thing. You aren't stopping me. No. Me and Brawny are taking over the park together, dropping off real good players. You know what I'm saying? You can tell these dudes are nice at the game. 13 to 8 with no center either. No center at all. And look at this. I'm going to just slow dribble, step back, move to the three, pull up green. If the game is not giving me a full bar, that is a green. I don't know what it is. But, I mean, as you guys see, this player is left-handed. I actually never make left-handed players. So that is one thing that Mikey is not, is he's not left-handed. But I don't know what it is. Every time I get on this man's account with the lefty, I be splashing. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Anyway, step back. Oh, you just, you just can't do that. You can't do that. He moved up a tiny inch on that three-pointer, and Mikey blows by him and gets the dunk. Too nasty out here. It's not fair. They can't contain us. They can only hope to end once again. We lose the ball before even dribbling, y'all. It's crazy out here. Let me know. Do you think that that should be in the game of NBA 2K22? Right there, I try to get the steal. And you already know what they're going to do, man. You already know they're just going to abuse the guards. That's fine, though, because we, we did step on the court with without a center. But hold up. Nope. Nope. I'm reading that lane, sir. You are not just going to force it back to your guard and then wait for him to dump it down to you so you can take up anything and make it. No, you got to be patient, buddy. Misdirection, yam, and all. Oh, my. Oh, my. He can't guard Mikey. Mikey is just unguardable out there. It's not fair. 19 to 12. We need to get a bucket, though, because if they get the ball back, they can easily end it. I mean, we actually cannot guard the center in the paint. Going down. Oh, step back. Into the paint, dotting Brawny in the corner. Game. See you guys. It's your boy Badge Plug. You've been plugged in. Make sure to drop a like if you haven't yet. Let me know who you want to see next. Type in Badge Plug to watch me live on Facebook every single day. And I'm out. Peace.